The darkest journeys are those furthest within the human psyche. The hardest battles are those against our own inner demons. Few forms of media can truly express this topic quite like video games. Character development in games is easily achieved by the player being able to control the progression of an avatar through the story. One game that nobly captures this dark descent is the 2001 Silent Hill 2. In fact, Silent Hill 2 is a true testament to why video games are a serious and meaningful form of media and art. The ominous and broken journey of Silent Hill 2 is supreme for what survival horror can be as a genre. The secluded and claustrophobic environment, mixed with the mysterious and ambiguous characters, slowly descends the player into the twisted consciousness of the human mind. One of the game's strongest tools are its few characters, such as Jane Sunderland or Angela Orozco. However, one character stands out from the rest. Her presence is warm, yet elusive. Her intent is cryptic and at times eerie. Most importantly, is she herself even real? On tonight's episode of Character Analysis, we'll be exploring the mysterious and ethereal entity named Maria. Maria is not your typical character in Silent Hill. She is an enigma just like the town itself. James Sunderland was drawn to the town by a letter he received from his dead wife, Mary. Maria appears to be a doppelganger of Mary. However, Maria is the complete opposite of Mary in every way. Maria seems very familiar with James, and Maria knows more about James than we think. For example, Maria says, I don't look like a ghost, do I? When meeting James for the first time. She says this with a playful smirk and tone. It's almost as if she's been waiting here for James, just like Mary. Without hesitation, Maria grabs James's hand and lays it on her chest to show him that she is real. James is taken back by Maria, and he tells her about his deceased wife, but Maria hasn't seen her. However, Maria asks James, is this your only special place? James tells her about a hotel that him and Mary used to stay in. Following this, Maria points James to the direction of their special place. It's here we get our first instance that Maria herself is not real, or rather is a creation of Silent Hill. Maria in multiple moments betrays James's deceased wife Mary by small actions and little phrases. It's as if she is a part of a test for James, a test that represents James's drive to find Mary. Maria's part in this test is to be an obstacle. What I mean by this is Maria is there to test James's love for Mary. Though she may look like Mary in some ways, Maria is the antithesis of Mary. If we compare their designs, we can see Mary as dying, frail, reserved, and exposed. Maria is alive, healthy, risque, and cryptic. The only thing they have in common is their fear of dying. Only James can soothe their discomfort and fear. However, this fear of death is represented in different points in life. Maria is young and thriving, while Mary is presumed dead or at least close to death. When looking at the Kubler-Ross model, aka the five stages of grief, we can understand where these two characters fall within it. During the dark run of Silent Hill 2, Maria at some point represents the first four stages of grief, with denial, anger, bargaining, or depression. Mary, having already passed, has lived these moments before, but her presence is still not over the last hurdle, acceptance. By the end of Silent Hill 2, Maria must accept her fate and will find release from the town of Silent Hill in some way by either death or freedom. Depending on what ending you get in Silent Hill 2, Maria can die potentially four times. One in the hospital, one in the cell, one with the final fight with Pyramid Head, and the last being the final boss. Each death has one thing in common. 
Maria must die for James to find the truth about Mary. Each time he gets closer to finding that truth about what happened to his dead wife, the closer Maria is being erased from existence. In a sense, Maria's purpose in existence is built upon the yearning of James to find Mary. The added chapter in the director's cut of Silent Hill 2, where you actually get to play as Maria, is called Born from a Wish. Maria's desperate attempt to live can only happen if James chooses her over Mary. Maria at the end of the game will result into turning into an exact copy of Mary. However, what Mary was can never be recreated. Maria's personality bleeds through the cracks, revealing she's just a mere impression of who James used to love. James ultimately denies Maria of his devotion, and in result, denies her a chance at truly existing. This will cause Maria to turn into a grotesque monster. James will kill Maria, finally ending her existence. Only in one ending do you pick Maria. In this ending, James will meet Mary at the end, and she will accuse him of not loving her. This time, James will kill Mary and will leave Silent Hill with Maria. The connection with the entity of Silent Hill has been cut between her and the gloomy town. She can now be free with the person who she was created for. However, as they walk out the town together, Maria begins to cough. Slowly, James turns around and says coldly, you better do something about that cough, revealing James's distant and bitter self and his loyalty to love. Maria is robbed of ever being in control of herself, but rather a pawn in the game for James fighting for forgiveness for his actions. I believe this is why we see Maria constantly torn between being unstable both physically and emotionally. Her entire being is one layered in exhaustiveness and desperateness. As we go further in the game, the more Maria becomes as elusive as James's dead wife. In fact, during a part of the game, James begins to search for Maria instead of Mary. This pull from both women leaves James running in the madness of the town searching for them. However, James cannot save Maria, just like he couldn't save Mary. Maria is both James and Mary's own unreachable expectations. She will never be Mary, and she will never live to be with James. Why would Silent Hill give Maria this consciousness? Well, I believe Maria is the true punishment that James yearns for. The story of Silent Hill 2 is about forgiving oneself and accepting the realities of your own choices. All the characters in Silent Hill, in some way, must accept the reality of their actions and the outcomes that unravel from them. Maria is every bit real while in James' presence. She is alive with complex emotions, just like any other person James has met. However, Maria ultimately dies by James not being able to reach her in time. Once revived, she becomes more invasive and taunting. It's during this time Maria understands what she is and desires to change her fate. Her wanting to live is James's punishment. If he abandons Maria, she dies. But if he risks his life to find her, he may never find Mary. This is what the punishment is to choose what James really wanted after Mary died. Did he want a new life without Mary, or did he truly want to save Mary from her pain? Maria is the distraction and the key to finding Mary. James accepting his actions and finding forgiveness is the final nail in Mary's coffin. In James's resolve, Maria will vanish. All her purpose is during James's time in Silent Hill is for him to prove his devotion into finding Mary. In this journey of forgiveness, Maria's life depends on James. Making her existence in the game more tragic than one might realize. No matter how hard she tries, her fate has already been decided. Maria's time with us in Silent Hill 2 is brief yet powerful. Her presence represents our yearning to change where our lives are going and to rewrite the outcomes that are out of our control. Silent Hill 2 teaches us about James's overall guilt and longing for forgiveness through Maria. 
His devotion being tested showcases the dark side of love, and Maria teaches us the falsehoods of that love. These traits are based on superficial desires, and how these ideals can never lead to real love. Her character can also represent the desire to change someone or oneself to be someone they can never be. Just like the producer, Akihira Amamura said, I want to express what's deep within the mind. Maria is one of the most important pieces in this deep descent. She is an instance and a creation of the deepest parts of the mind, one that yearns to be free and accepted by its creator. This drive to live beyond fate is a struggle Maria and all of us harbor. Silent Hill 2 is a quintessential piece of art in video game history. During its time, it was one of the only games that dared to showcase the dark human psyche in a meaningful way despite the direction video games were going. Maria is an iconic part of video game history for her role in Silent Hill 2. Maria's role may be part of a dark and tragic love story, but her impact and lessons during our time in Silent Hill 2 are priceless. Thank you all so much for tuning into this episode of Character Analysis. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to Side Eye Gaming for more content. Also, comment down below on what character you would like to see next on Character Analysis. All right, everyone, stay safe out there. And until next time, I love you, mean it. Bye.